Hi, I'm Mia Sid, the registered dietitian behind NutritionByMia.com. The keto diet comes with its restrictions. In order to help you eat the same foods, we talk about some keto soup recipes. Soups can be quick and easy to prepare, but can be tough to fit into a keto diet. Fortunately, there are keto soup recipes like chicken and tomato soup that fit in perfectly. In this video, I will cover what soups are generally considered keto friendly and which are not, the ingredients that make up a keto soup recipe, how to make a keto chicken soup, and how to make a keto tomato soup. Let's dive in. The ketogenic diet is a very low carbohydrate, high fat, and moderate protein diet. Soup can absolutely be a part of your keto diet, but it's important to buy and make the right kind that aren't high in carbohydrate containing ingredients such as rice, pasta, most beans, and potatoes. A list of soups to typically avoid include chicken noodle, beef noodle, vegetables and barley, chicken gumbo, chicken and wild rice, cream of potato, and lentil soup. While this may seem to limit your options significantly, rest assured that there are still plenty of soups that you can enjoy on the keto diet. While this isn't a complete list, some flavors generally tend to be more keto friendly than others, including broccoli cheese, mushroom based soups, creamy soups in general, roasted chicken and veggie, bone broth soups, beef and cabbage, cauliflower soups, and vegetable beef soups without potatoes. The best keto-friendly soups are not from the store, they're in your house. Homemade soups allow you to control the ingredients used to ultimately control the sodium, sugar, fat, protein, and carbohydrate count to make it fit within your keto diet. Some keto-friendly ingredients that you'll need to make keto soups include meat and other animal protein, dairy, non-starchy vegetables, fats like oil, and pantry items. Let's start with meat. Meat and other animal protein is a staple of the keto diet and provides protein along with key nutrients like B vitamins, potassium, and zinc. Smart options include beef, chicken, seafood, and fish. Besides adding cooked meat to your soups, use them to make your own meat-based stocks at home. Next, not all vegetables are created equal on the keto diet. Non-starchy vegetables are permitted as they are low in carbohydrates and happen to be a source of dietary fiber and key nutrients like vitamin C. For soup lovers looking for a low-carb pasta or rice addition to their homemade soups, try zucchini noodles or riced cauliflower. Dairy foods can also be a keto-friendly addition to your homemade soups, including cheese, butter, Greek yogurt, and sour cream. Dairy foods are sources of protein, fat, and nutrients such as calcium and potassium. Fats like olive oil and avocado oil are permitted on the keto diet as they are devoid of carbohydrates and are an important addition to soup recipes, especially when it comes to cooking your non-starchy vegetable components. And finally, pantry items such as spices and certain store-bought broths are keto-friendly grocery staples that will be essential for your homemade soup recipes. Now that we know what ingredients make up a keto-friendly soup, it's time to make our own at home, starting with a keto chicken soup. You'll need olive oil, one pound of boneless, skinless chicken breast, two cups of rice cauliflower, one medium yellow onion, three medium carrots, three stalks of celery, poultry seasoning, salt, pepper, six cups of chicken broth, and four cups of chopped kale. Chop up the onion, carrots, and celery, and saute in a large pot with one tablespoon of olive oil until soft about five to seven minutes. Add one teaspoon of poultry seasoning, a half teaspoon of salt, a fourth teaspoon of pepper, the broth, and the chicken breast. Make sure the chicken is submerged in the broth, cover and simmer until the chicken is cooked through about 15 minutes. Remove the chicken, shred and add back to the pot with rice, cauliflower and kale. Stir and cook for another five to seven minutes or until the cauliflower, rice and kale are soft. Your soup is ready to serve. Store leftovers in a covered container in the refrigerator for up to five days. Another keto friendly soup to add to your meal rotation is a keto tomato soup. You'll need olive oil, eight Roma tomatoes, four cloves of garlic, salt, pepper, and herbs de Provence, two cups of chicken broth, and a fourth cup of heavy cream. Start by chopping your tomatoes and mincing your garlic and place on a baking sheet and toss with oil before baking for 20 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Transfer your cooked tomatoes and garlic to a high-speed blender and blend until smooth. Pour the tomato puree in a large pot with the broth, one tablespoon of herbs de Provence, a half teaspoon of salt, and a fourth teaspoon of pepper. Simmer for 10 minutes and stir in the cream at the end. 
I hope you enjoyed these keto soup recipes, cooking tips, and grocery shopping tips. For more keto-friendly meal and snack ideas, be sure to subscribe to the Chomps channel. And if you're looking for a delicious keto-friendly snack option, visit chomps.com to browse all the varieties and flavors of meat snacks. See you next time.